Hey everybody, we're going to be doing part 5 of the sub oim build and mechanical mod. Um, so you're not going to want to miss it, so please stick around and I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Alright, I have 5 star rewards in here. And let me plug this in, it just kind of shut off. So just to give you an example, this is actually more accurate than the little square box that comes in the kit. Um, I'll have to find out what this brand is and I'll try to post it in the description when I find it. So. Plug the camera back in. So we're done with our cotton. I'm just gonna just gonna twist the cotton, kind of reconnect it a little bit, stuff it back in the bag for the next use. Okay. Then I need to go grab. Some juice, be right back. Alright, so you can see it's quite dusty, but this is Golden Monk. It's a pretty brand new bottle. Try to clean the bottle a little bit. Just using my shirt. remember exactly what this tastes like. I'm going to shake it a little bit. It's been steeping for a while, so. If you don't like fast movement, uh, just a seizure warning, just to let you know. Alright, should be okay. Smell it, it smells like caramel. And brown sugar, that's what it smells like. Okay. You wanna drip on the coils to pre-lube them with something. You want to dab the cotton as you're dripping so it goes into the cotton. Dripping a little more than you would think you would need will actually help soak the cotton. Okay. If you spill it on the outside of the RDA, it's not going to hurt anything. You're just going to get sticky fingers. The lid might not come off as easy. On the coil.
So a little information. This mo mechanical mod, the 26650 mechanical, this Stingray I have. Um, I man may have mentioned it earlier, I think it was like 20 or 30 bucks at the most. Um, this is premium vape fluid. This is not, you know, cheap, junky fluid you get from Circle K or anything like that. This is really good stuff. I get this at Valor Vapor. This particular bottle I actually got at the Vape Expo like four years ago. Three or four years ago, something like that. That one's soaked, and then I'm going to go back to the other side and give it a little more. That way it's... Full. Okay, I'm going to put the ring back on it. Move the vents to the coils. And actually tighten that. I'm going to pull it back off. Give you guys a close up. And you can twist this if you want less air. You just turn it. But I like mine full of air. As much oxygen as possible. Gives you better cloud. It also helps with flavor too. Okay. Here's the top piece. I'm going to adjust the top piece so that way it's not covering the vents. You can see the cutout. Okay. There. I'm going to twist the ring back up so it unlocks the trigger. Okay. Give it a couple puffs. Let it burn a little bit of the that juice. It'll varnish the coils. Yep. It's a uh, brown sugar and caramel. And this is just a, see if I can turn you guys up a little. This is just a demonstration. And that's a sub oil build. And I usually pull my drip tip out. You can drip through it. I don't usually do that. And then it doesn't matter if you drip on the screws. I try to drip specifically on the coils themselves. A little bit more. Put the tip back in. I don't know if you can see the smoke rings. I may have not done this in a while, but it's kind of like riding a bicycle. You don't necessarily forget how to do it. Um, please let me know in the description if 
or um, in the comment section if this video series was helpful. Any comments or questions or if you want to see a different type of build. I know um, Jason Reynolds wants to see some mesh builds, which I'm going to have to. I'm going to Val uh, Kidney Puncher on Saturday, so I'll see if they have the stuff I need for that. And I'll give it a try. It's got good flavor. Smoke rings are not easy. Okay, and just because we can, I'm going to, oh, there's a little juice dripping out. The mechanical there. Sorry, caper. Got your shirt a little dirty, buddy. You'll be alright. Alright. I'm going to attach it to the snow wolf. I do not recommend eating the juice. It doesn't taste very good. Out the bottle. That's set at 85 watts. A snow wolf works better than the mechanical, but that's because it's got two 18650s in it. This is on power mode too. What is about 90 watts? And let's go up some more. It's a 200 watt mod. I'm going to bump it up to 100 watts. As you can see, the higher the wattage you go, the bigger the cloud. Um, I drop it down to 90 watts and I'm gonna do some smoke rings and then we're gonna conclude the video. As you can see, the smoke rings get larger and they're more dense. And it's not easy with more dense cloud, which this actually does taste better than the cigarettes.
and it's still pretty full of juice. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification icon for future updates. Go check out my Amazon affiliate links. And I appreciate you guys. Thank you for sticking around for this long. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace. Hey everybody. So please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, um, and if you want to see future updates, go check out my Amazon affiliate links, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.